It is our distinct honor and pleasure this evening to welcome to you as a special guest for Brown and Brown, the 43rd President of the United States, Mr. George W. Bush. Here, here. Let's see what he's got to say. Uh, you know, I could take you on a mountain bike, but in a swimming pool, I think you'd have me hands down. Here, here, Mr. President. <laughs> it's great to be here, and it's great to be with the creme de la creme, the top of the food chain. They need another rung on the ladder, the top of brown and brown. God bless you. Give yourselves a hand. Here, yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Well, the boys are duking it out. They're duking it out. You know, they're going from state to state to see who can get the, uh, the most delegates because you get a thousand or something and you win. Well, it's obviously you ran for election and were reelected, so you know something about leadership. Yes. Uh, would you mind sharing for a few minutes maybe your view on leadership and talk to our folks about Appreciate leadership? Appreciate you, Roy. Well, folks, it's good to be here with you tonight. It's always good to be back in the great state of Florida. Tonight, I'm talking to leaders. I'm talking to the hardest workers. You know, Dick Cheney once told me, Mr. President, uh, it's funny how the people who work the hardest tend to be the luckiest. And uh, there's something about that. And I'd like you to just take a moment and say with me this word, courage. 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 So, communication. communication. Character. Call those the four C's of leadership. <laughs> hey, it, it took a lot of courage to do what I did. Run the country, fight terrorists, be anywhere close to Cheney. <laughs> you know what we call this in Washington? The Cheney reaction. <laughs> Somebody put a little bumper sticker on the limo that says, duck, duck, goose, Cheney's loose. <laughs> But when, you know, when you're a leader, you've, you've, you've got to be tough and you've got to stick to your principles, even when it seems like nobody thinks your ideas are any good. And it's something I you know, had to put up with once in a while. But it's all right, ma'am, it made me tough. I've got thick skin like an elephant, which is the symbol of the Republican Party. <laughs> Charlie, my, my Democratic friends are depicted as a donkey, or as my friends to the South call them, burritos. Now the second C, communication. And do not misunderstand. Communication is the most important part of talking. That's right, studies show that, that good communication is only about 15% verbal, which in my case is a good thing. <laughs> and I'll have you know that though I sometimes struggle with my vernacular, I am fluent in over nine different body languages, <laughs> some of which I had to give up when I got saved. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> and when you're bilingual, as I am, you've got to use the words you intend to use with specificiality, <laughs> or else you can uh, create an international incident, as I learned recently during a trip to Krakistan. It's a big difference between saying, I want a cracker and I am a cracker. <laughs> now the third C, my friends, character. Character. And I know everyone in this room knows what I mean by character. Integrity, morality, traditional family values. You know, I've had the privilege of flying Air Force One into America's largest cities and Marine One into many of her smaller towns. I've slept in Buckingham Palace, and I've, I've watched the sun rise over Jerusalem. And I've feasted in the deserts of Abu Dhabi. I, I like that word. <laughs> it's fun to say, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> like bibbidi-bobbidi. <laughs> Where was I? 
Oh yeah, well, well the point is, it is the courage and the service of the American people as I've gone around the world that has made me feel so proud. And it's the men and women in this room here tonight that have learned that it's better to give than to receive. That when you serve your customers, you're giving of yourself. And I've learned that good is better than bad. <laughs> that freedom is better. I know, duh, right? <laughs> You'd think people would get that. <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, we pulled our pants up. <laughs> so good is better than bad. Freedom is better than bondage. And right is better than left. Can you say amen? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, I've had the honor of traveling the world as, as the ambassador of freedom. And it's been such an honor to share that message and, and to welcome other folks, other dignitariums to, to that city on a hill, to the, to the White House. And I'll never forget one of my, one of my favorite stories it was when the Pope popped over. Pope Benedict the, um, it was XV something. <laughs> you know, he came to New York City to, to pray over the uh, terrorist site, 9-11. And uh, after the ceremony there, we had a little parade for him down Madison Avenue. Perhaps you all watched it on Fox News. <laughs> Is that that little white car, remember? I called it the Pope Sickle. <laughs> And then we flew him down to Washington for a state dinner, and it was great. We talked about you know, world leadership issues. We got to know each other. And, and uh, after dinner, he wanted to pray over the cottage, the White House. And it was getting late around 7.30, you know, and he and I were just walking through those hollowed halls. And I showed him, I gave him the tour, you know. There's the blue room and, and the red room. And, the green room, and he said, what is this, Sesame Street? <laughs> I said, no, no, and then I showed him the antique pictures of President Washington, we had Lincoln, Madison, Wisconsin, all of them, it was incredible. The whole time we were walking, he had that, you know, smoky, swingy thing of his, you know. He was praying, you know, some kind of Latin, and I, I was a little embarrassed because, you know, we, we made a rule, you know, no smoking in the White House, you know. <laughs> I didn't want to tell him, you know, because he's the Pope and all. <laughs> and I wondered what was in that thing. I finally figured it out, you know. It's got uh, incense. I think they call it uh, potpourri. <laughs> I've been thinking about, you know, uh, motivation. <laughs> and uh, I want to continue to be a, an inspirator. You know, and I, I thought about, well, what is it that moves people? Well, golf carts. <laughs> no, 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 actually, it's, it's, it's music, isn't it? Music. It's, it's the universal language. I mean, uh, think about great songs that you've, you've grown up with, songs that are stored up in your soul, you know. Every time you hear them, it takes you right back to where you were when you learned them. Great American songs like, uh, oh, say, can you see? <laughs> I like the letter C because it's also a word. <laughs> Hyatt, do you know why uh, D is my favorite letter? Because it's the first letter in the word W. And I tell you what, uh, Hyatt and Cece, uh, uh, my hat's off to you because there's a letter B, and the word is billion. And I want to say congratulations. Yes, indeed. You guys have, uh, yeah.
And, uh, and, and Mr. Brown, if you, if whoever the next president is, if you'll go on up there and become Secretary of State again, only this time for the whole country, uh, I think you can help teach them how to motivate America back to work. And I did write a song. I've been taking some guitar lessons because uh, I understand the, uh, the power of music. And so uh, next time you see me, I'll be the singing bush. And uh, if somebody's got a guitar, I'll... Uh, oh, yes, thank you. Well, I'm the free world leader. Freedom's rolling out to you. Oh, let it roll. Well, I'm the free world leader now, Mama. Freedom's rolling out to you. Well, I'm the good news instigator, compassionate conversator. This freedom is rocking and rolling on out to you. Got me a, a nuclear buster. Protecting freedom is what I do. Ooh. Got me a daisy cutter. And that's my strategy for you. Well, you'd best not mess with U.S., baby, or U.S. sure will mess with you. Yeah, you know that's true. Come on, show me what you got there, R.J. Let me close this little song out with a verse about Laura. <laughs> well, I'm a, a Laura lover. That lovely lady stays on my mind. Oh, she's so fine, yeah. Well, I'm a Laura lover. Ooh, that lovely lady stays on my mind. Well, that was the president doing the king. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I got her love for my own now. Sweet child, there won't be no child left behind. Seems how lately, babe, got a bad case of red, white, and Oh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.